that's a bit flesh. Where's the van? Where's the van? Well, you got a bit enthusiastic and we've got no plants because you spent all the money. Well, don't just blame me. It wasn't all my fault. Let's go in and have a look at the garden and meet the kids. Come here, show us where it is. Oh, goodness, look at that. Oh, here they are. Good morning. And oh, you are? Joshua. Joshua and? Malachi. Malachi. And that must be Bonnie, Bonnie. who did the design. Yeah. Hi, Bonnie. Hello. Have you got the design with you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's what you've got to be doing, Tommy. Oh, look at this now. What have we got? We've got a nice patio area. Yeah. And where's that going to be? From this part to the middle of the garden. Oh. To the middle of the garden. <laughs> have, you, have you watched this program? Do you know we've only got two days, not two weeks, you know? <laughs> and what have we got up here? Got a water feature. Yeah. Right, put a water feature instead of the shed. Oh, and put the shed over the here. Shed. Oh, we'll move it from left to right. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> We're surprising Dad, aren't we? Yeah, well, this is supposed to be somewhere for Dad to relax, I believe. That's right. Chill out, cos he's a preacher? He is, yeah. And have you got some video of him or anything? I have, I have. I've got a good one to show you. Hi, my name's uh, Tony Miller. I actually uh, pastor a church called Heart to Heart International Ministries. We're based in the Tulsa Brixton area. Since we've been going for about five years, those people's lives have been changed from drugs, um, people into crime and so forth like that. And they're now able to contribute into society, people's lives just being totally reformed. And uh, it's a great place to be at. And so if you'd like to come and join us at Heart to Heart International Ministries, come and join us. Shirley and the kids have sent him to a religious retreat in Oxford, while we get to create merry hell at home. My father's a preacher. It was Charlie's suggestion to make a sunken garden at the back of the garden. Right. Somewhere for him to sit and okay. relax. Now, what happens is we actually build retaining walls around here with sleepers, and we're going to pave it in here, and at this end we're going to have a water feature, and this is a great big monolith. And um, we've had it drilled through the middle so the water can bubble up through it. Oh, excellent. And then yeah. just gently run it Because he's really into nice. water features, water isn't he? Features, yeah, he is. We have a yeah. slight problem. See, this, this piece of rock, the one I've ordered, is a tonne and a half. So we're going to crane it in over the top of your house. Oh, wow. Yeah, we oh, just right. hope it doesn't yeah. slip. Oh, huh? yeah, that's right. <laughs> we've plenty of help this week from Tony's flock. But because of all the excavation, we've got a mini digger coming on site as well. The reason we're going so deep here is because if you have a look down here, the damp course for this house is right at the bottom of this air vent. And this floor should be at least four inches below the bottom of that air vent. So we've got to dig all this out and get it down before we can reinstate it with the floor at the correct level. Now, Bonnie wanted the shed moved. We're not going to move it, so we're going to paint it instead. Mellow stone. So just blend away. And there's nothing else I can do at the moment because Tommy's still got the digger for his sunken patio by the back door, which was the thing we were going to do at the end if we had some spare time. I've got the smallest paintbrush alive for this huge wall. <laughs> We've got plenty of time. That's true. Maybe I should have a smaller brush. <laughs> I think we ought to ditch the water feature. <laughs> Cancel that crane. Yeah. Cancel the telephone man that's coming to take all the telephone wires down. Stop the council shutting the road. Yeah. Oh, we're going to be popular with the neighbours. Oh, I know. And Shirley's Still... going to be moving out after this. Yeah, we'll have it done in an hour, Charlie, you know. Oh, of course. <laughs> Have, uh, quite a serious problem. Right. So the crane that you have tomorrow will yes. not lift 2.7 tons. 2.7 tons? That's what the stone's weighing at the moment, yeah. I was told it was 1.5. Charlie! Yo! Tommy, I've just um, had a very interesting phone call um, with the guys from the stone place, you know, that the water feature's coming from. 
guess how much it weighs. Five 2. tons. 2.7 tonnes. <sighs> which is obviously a huge problem for us because the crane okay. can't lift, lift it that far and it won't actually even lift it over the house because it's too heavy. And Cut it in half. But when we put it back together again, will the grid that we've got made, will that carry 2.7 tonnes? Chop the bottom off. No, I think it will do, yeah. I mean, as long as we support the grid anyway. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, cut it in half. OK. Which way? Down the way, cross the way? <laughs> <laughs> cross the way. Hi, hi. I've just had a word with um, Tom and Charlie and they've come up with an idea um, of cutting it in half. Oh, God. I don't want this to be cut the wrong way. Just <laughs> talk technical to this, to Colin. Hello, Colin. Hello, Tommy. Uh, I'm going to kill Mr Hayes when I get hold of him. <laughs> I can't take the responsibility. Tommy, do you want it cut horizontal? Yes. Cut it right across the, the hole you've drilled in the middle. Yeah, they will, Tommy. We'll get that done now. And we've, I've asked the driver to stand by and we'll bring it up. Fantastic, Colin. Bye, mate. Thanks, mate. All the best. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is exciting, isn't it? Whose idea was this? This is before the cranes arrived. Yeah, go on. You. Don't tell Charlie anymore. She's under stress enough. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 1640, we have half a hole, no reservoir, no pergola, <sighs> no stones. No. You're so negative, Charlie. <laughs> negative? There's not a lot of options, really. No, not really. Just down here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why did you dig that great big hole? Get all the stuff out and now you start filling it up again. Because this is a sunken garden, we have to create some sort of drainage. So when it rains, like... In about half an hour. We'll be able to test it very soon. And then it should drain through this loose gravel and then drain into the soil all around. That's a big nine inches, Tommy. The and that's a girl inch. saying that. <laughs> 15 inches, let's see where that comes. She's a bit low. <laughs> day one. <laughs> Five past seven. It's almost day two and we're still here from day one. And digging myself into an ever-deepening hole. Did you do anything exciting today? No, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for you to come and make my day excited. Come up. <laughs> hey, come up. You can't come up. What? I've just got the kids. Where are I? How can I come up with the kids? What? Drive all the way to Oxford? Can't move them to you. We can pull down to you now. I can't do that with the kids. All right, then. All right, then. I'll see you a bit later. Bye. You can't get on camera. I've got, I've <laughs> Was got that a kissy, ask kissy? You, I've got to ask you this <laughs> now. Is, what, what can't you do with the kids? He's saying, I want you to come up to do some pole dancing for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think on that note... We're going to leave you to it and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Right. Thank you. Bye, guys. It's going to be dark Thanks soon. a lot. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Pole dancing, I can't believe it. And cheerful. Oh, I thought Very I had to come for the uh, film today. Anything happen? No. Good. No. So you mean you didn't finish the garden last night no. for us? <laughs> come on, we've got to finish it. Let's get to work.
Right, this is going to be where the reservoir for the water feature is. So we'll have the monolith stood here. Then we're going to have sleeper walls all the way around. Tommy's going to lay a little patio there. And we're going to have some steps here. See, it all makes sense. All in eight hours. And Tommy's still smiling. Oh, and the pergola, forgot that bit. It's a big one, isn't it? Morning, gentlemen. Morning, Tom. I'll bring you later. How are you doing? Yeah. Cup of tea. Cup of tea for you. Thank you, mate. For you. Cheers, lovely job. Thank you very much. Well, gentlemen, how are you going to get round this corner? If we can find a person who owns a Jag, we that no problem at all. You got a stone on board? Yeah, I have, yeah. Yeah? yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, can I come and have a look at it? Of course you can. Aha! <laughs> It is a big piece, isn't it? That's two bits. And it's all got to be planted safely on top of the reservoir. Hmm. This is an old stonemason's trick. If you're using a piece of heavy stone, you want to save your fingers. Put some ice down, lay some ice out, put the stone down on there. Then we can actually pull the straps out, and as the ice melts, the stone will sit down in place. The water will drip into the water feature below, and the whole thing should work. I hope. <laughs> That's, That's the front. Let's go. Let's try to get down up to that. It's coming here, right on there. You want to bring it over a bit further first, Charlie? Lovely. Then you go. Bye, Lee. That's good. Yeah. Yep. Have I got a smug grin on my face? <laughs> It's just how I feel. And here comes part two. It's not over yet. Jib down, I mean. No, I couldn't dip down any more, Dave. If you look up to the ridge of the house, I'm very close to it, Dave. I can't see the ridge from here. I'm sorry, Drive. But I can. Steady. Oh, 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 Slow down, Bobby. Oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Are we ready to go? We're ready to go. Ready. Yep. Easy. There we go. That's it. Perfect. This end. Down steady. Then you come. OK, Keith. Oh, look at that. Well, thank you very much, guys. Thank you you've very been, much. You've been champion today. You've done a great job. See you later, Tom. Any time, give us a ring. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully I won't come up with a brilliant idea like this ever again. <laughs> Ten to three. The water feature's in. Sort of, ish. <laughs> We've got to finish building this pergola. 
and then lay all the paving inside this area, lay the steps, do all the planting. We've got about two hours to go. It's going to be tough. Don't be such a defeatist, Tommy. planting we've gone for is very much a blue and yellow thing so we've got yellow flowers like this phygelius moonraker or green and then we've got blue flowers we've got a perovskia over there and we've got a very unusual lavender which is a lavandula canariensis needs a bit of protection but the flowers are really gorgeous on it and then we've got some really structural plants like this bamboo black bamboo which i'm going to clear the stems of those later on low a bit so you can see the black bamboo Are you right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't sound all right. No, you don't sound like fed up or something. All right. Yeah, a bit tired, I suppose. Having to look after the kids by myself. You know, normally you're so much help. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you see. You should have come up, you see. <laughs> but I'm so bored up my head, I couldn't get bored any, any, uh, anymore. So that's enough. All right, then. So I'll see you soon. All right, then. All right, then. Bye. Bye. Tommy Charlie, I've just called him again and he said that he's going to pop to a friend's house, which is in Norwood. So they should be back about six quarter past. All right, then that's fine. Good, good. That's good. Right. Okay. Come on, let's go, because we've only got that only gives us half I've hour. I've got to test the pump, I have to say. That's really splooshing now. Right, final fiddle. It's running a bit fast, but as the pump gets older it'll slow down. Not so much splash. What are you putting in here, Kush? Just this little lavender? Do you want me to dig the hole for you? If you want to, yeah, that'd be lovely. Well, I don't really want to, but... Well, I might as well plant it now, mightn't I? Well, you might as well plant it. Well, I'm That's it. All the fronds are leaning inwards. What about all those broken bits you've got at the front there, Tommy? What? All those broken bits you've got at the front there. Well, I never broke them. I didn't say you did. I just said, what about them? Well, I haven't finished yet. Mm. I haven't even planted it yet. I think we'll just put it down the side. Down here? Yeah. We're going to put this fence panel yeah, back no up problem. and then match that finish. Yeah, get the goal in, set yeah. that up, oh, get a white I spray. Yeah, yeah. Right, on, sure quick. he was doing the goal. Right, We've got get on with 35 it. 35 minutes. Three pairs out here, and that table out here, and I'll get the goal. Oh no! <laughs> Hello, Tony. Hello. 
Hello, hello. <laughs> you know what, this guy's never short for words. <laughs> I've, I've just walked in, I've just drove What's all this mess out here? <laughs> There's no oh. mess out there. Please get off. Come and have, have a look. look. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, dear. Surprise! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, Woo! <laughs> Can I do oh, it? Before you walk there, before Matthew you walk there. Wow. Oh, sweet children. <laughs> and this is absolutely beautiful. This is. You can really, walk around really on nice. the sleepers. You can walk this around these really bits. Nice. If you keep up oh, the pavement, because that was only now, laid about 15, 20 minutes here. ago. So no. if you just walk around on the sleepers. Okay. Oh, jeez. Lost for words. So time to quote the scriptures. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I shall build my church. Surrounded by fragrant plants and the sound of water, this is a little Eden in which the whole family can enjoy days of rest and play. And anything else that takes their fancy. Yeah. And they got you on camera, what you're saying. Um, yes, about the pole dancing. Oh. Pole dancing. <laughs> <laughs> you are joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. You could have chopped my head off with that. Me? <laughs> You're too young. That's not a surprise, boys. Tony, I'm sure that when you actually watch the programme, mm. I think you'll definitely find it an uplifting experience. <laughs> <laughs> so for the Grand Force team here in Croydon, until the next time, cheers! cheers.